Hey guys, Brad M73 here. Today is September 17th, 2016. I know I'm a day late on the vehicle updates for Farming Sim 17, but I'm getting them done as fast as I possibly can. Um, be sure to hit the like button, like just just jam on that like button because we've got a ton of vehicles to go over, uh, lots of new uh, bits and pieces and additions and even some new brand names that I'm sure some of you will be super excited to hear about. So yes, be sure to hit the like button. Please subscribe for this and many more updates on Farming Simulator 17. Without further ado, let's click into the game and we'll see what's new. Games! Okay, here we got the Farming Simulator 17, and no, it is not available for all these different titles. It is only PC, Mac, PS4, and Xbox One. Um, let's go down. Agco is the same with uh, those. Amazon is all the same. Bergman, though, we do have an updated loading trailer. So this guy, um, you know, you can pick, use it to pick up your your straw, your hay... Um, you know, once you finish uh, cutting grass, you can pick up the grass with it. Um, so that was, this is new this week. It's got a capacity of 34,000 liters and it requires 120 horsepower. Um, uh, Brantner is the same with the trailer. I believe Bradal is also the same with the uh, fertilizer spreader. Capello, we've got uh, all the heads that are the same. Uh, the top four are the same. The bottom header is a forage header called the Spartan 610. It's got a working width of 6.1 meters. This is pr pretty much going to be used for foraging uh, grass and probably some other crops like I guess you could technically forage uh, soybeans and uh, canola. There might be a few others you can you can uh, Forage as well. Uh, Nicolas Cruel or Caruel Nicolas. Uh, we've got the Still 460. That's the same. Uh, case is also the same as is Challenger, as is Dutes, as is DFM. I'm just kind of going through all these for you guys. Farm Tech, still the same. Fent, still the same. Oh, I can't wait to get my hands on those. Um, but we do have a new tipper from. Fliegel called the ass 280 I mean the ASS 298 oh my gosh this could not be like oh my I, there's just going to be tons of jokes about this trailer this season I got a feeling it's got a capacity of 47,000 liters just prepare yourself for ass jokes with <laughs> with this trailer um let's see Grima is still the same we have Horsch, the same. Can't wait to get the Pronto 9D. Hurleyman, I think that's probably the only Hurleyman that we're going to get. We typically only get one or so. Husqvarna, uh, Jones are Red, the ch other Chainsaw, those are the same. JCB, all the same as last week. Joskin, however, we've got the, um, the new slurry tank here. We have the manure spreader and the animal tra uh, trailer. Uh, which which we've seen before, but we've got the manure, or I'm sorry, the slurry tank called the mo Modulo, Modulo, mo I'm going to say Modulo 2. Uh, it's got a working width of 15, I'm sorry, tw 12 meters. I was looking at the f 15 at the, <laughs> of, of 150 horsepower. Requires 150 horsepower, working width of 12 meters, capacity of 15,780 liters. Uh, we also have a new brand called Karcher, which uh, if you guys have been playing Farming Sims 15, you guys know exactly what this is. This is the placeable so that you can wash your vehicles. It's got the little pressure washer sprayer on there. So washing vehicles must be in the game if the, <laughs> if the uh, pressure washer is still available. Um, let's see. Cockerling, Cockerling is the same. Garant Kotki. Uh, has a couple new pieces. I think we saw maybe the small slurry tank previously, but um, we've got the FRC, this big, huge thing, and we also have the TSA 30,000, which is a 30,000 liter uh, capacity slurry tank, I guess, for lack of a <laughs> for lack of a better word. Um, let's see. Moving on. Let's see. Where am I on my list? 
That was uh, Garan. Okay. Krampa, the same. Agriliner, we've got the Kroger, that is the same. Coon, still the same stuff. Cavernland, if it loads, still the same. The Lely, however, is a new brand name. Or Lely, 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 I'll say Lely. Uh, we've got two mowers. We've got the Splendimo 30, or, or I'm sorry, 320 FC and the Splendimo 900 MC. We actually saw those on the fact sheet update. No, on the uh, dev blog this week. I think it was the number six dev blog. We got some nice screenshots of a tractor with uh, the Splendimos attached there. We also have the Lotus 1250 Profi Tether. This is a 12.5 meter width tether, so probably the wider one out of the group of tethers that we get. Um, and we also have the Lely Hibiscus 1515 CD Profi, which is a 14.8 meter wind rower, it requires 110 horsepower. So definitely cool. Um, Lemkin is still the same. Lee Bear is still the same. I'm hoping for a wheel loader, guys. Lizard, however, is different. We have this thing called the Lizard R5000. And it's a miscellaneous thing. It's some kind of a roller. Um, I, I have absolutely no idea what this is going to be used for. Whether it's like that infamous weeder thing, or maybe it's a f aerator for grass. I have no idea. It is a roller. I just don't know what it's going to be used for yet. So hopefully there's going to be some news out on that soon. I don't know, keeping my fingers crossed, maybe I'll send Giants a message and see if I can find out more about the uh, Lizard R5000 for next week. Uh, moving on to Magsy, still the same stuff. Manitou or Manitou is the same. Massey Ferguson, uh, yes, also the same. Moving on to Metal Tech, the same. New Holland, we have the T5 uh, tractor which is a 99 to 117 horsepower max speed of 40 kilometers per hour. And we got a fact sheet on this earlier this week, so it's just natural to see it added into the list of confirmed vehicles. Pottinger, we got a bunch of new equipment. Last week, we only had the Novacat 301 and the Novacat X8ED. Uh, this week, we get the Novacat 302ED, which is kind of like a side mower. Kind of, it, It's basically like the X8, except... Like it's missing one of the mowers. If that, <clears throat> excuse me, if that makes any sense. We also get the uh, Pottinger HIT 12.14T tether. It's got a 13 meter working width, so it's actually uh, wider than the Lely. Uh, we've got the single uh, wind rower here with just a 4.6 meter width. So if you guys are working on you know smaller fields. Uh, you probably are going to want to pick one of these up. And then we've got the Euroboss 330T, which is a loading wagon. Again, silage, hay, grass, or not silage, uh, straw, hay, grass. Um, and it's got a 21,300 liter uh, capacity. I know I used to use these for uh, picking up grass on the baseball field on Westbridge Hills which was the gold edition or titanium edition or whatever edition map for Farming Sim 13. Um, moving on, Ponzi is the same. Rostelmash, we have the Forage Harvester now, uh, along with the Forage Header, 6 meter width. We've got the another Forage Header. This is more for grass, 3.1 meter width. Actually, it's not even for grass. You can do, uh, you can chaff straw with it. So, like, you know, if you've got more straw than you know what to do with. Uh, you can tra uh, uh, chaff the straw with this. I think you can even do hay. Like if you've, you know, filled up your hay bunk or your, you know, bunkers with hay and everything, all your storage equipment, uh, you can also chaff with this as well. And then we've got another one, uh, which is more for use with grass and uh, like smaller crops. So nice to see that from uh, Rostel Moss. We've got Salford. We've seen that one before. It's just a plow. We all we now though we do have the same Fortis tractor. So we'll be able, you know, we'll have an updated version of the Fortis uh, come along with us this time. Sampa Rosenloo, same as last week. Stair, same as last week. Sewer, 
same as last week. But we've got Tatra, so we've got the Phoenix 6x6 Aggro. A lot of people have been asking whether or not this one was going to be coming back, and I'm glad to say yes, yes it is. Because it's a very good truck for uh, for pretty much all your truck needs. <laughs> all your trucking needs. Uh, Vader stat is still the same. The Valtra, however, we have the N-Series this week, which is kind of uh, the... I think it's like the maybe lower to mid range tractor. So we got 145 to 185 horsepower there. Uh, we also have a new header from uh, Vicon, which is a six meter width header, a header called the Fan X 604. It, not a, I keep saying header, tether, tether. Oh my gosh. This, this episode is going south, guys, but hit the like button anyway. Uh, Vogel Newt is the same. Zetter is the same. And last but not least, Zunhammer is also the same for this week. Guys, those are all the new brands and new pieces of equipment we've got for you this week. Again, do not forget to hit that like button and please subscribe for this and many more videos. I'll be doing tons of news on Farming Sim 17. I've been trying to keep up with all the news uh, for you guys. I know you guys have been chomping at the bit for it. But uh, thanks again for watching. We'll see you next week for more Confirmed Vehicles. I am Brad M73. We'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.